from New York, it's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show today. Not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I don't think I went too far talking to the last caller of the last hour. I don't think I did. I mean, that call really pissed me off. I'm still sitting here like like shaking from it. I mean, she was outrageous. She's 17. She says she's been, quote unquote, with her boyfriend since she was 12. They, quote unquote, broke up for eight months. And all it took was uh, that eight months for him to impregnate somebody else. And uh, there there's a baby. So what does stupid do? Stupid decides, now that she's back with her boyfriend, she decides to let him impregnate her, too, trying to keep him in the relationship. I don't get this. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And what is really maddening about it is the danger that by saying it, I sound like some kind of prude. I'm no prude. If around, have threesomes, foursomes, have orgies, have, live it up. Don't get married. Bring in relief pictures from the bullpen. I mean, you've heard what I say on this program. I'm no prude. But this idea of being 17 and having babies to keep your boyfriend around, it's stupid, 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 stupid. I mean, my God, I feel like my show's turning into the Maury Povich show, for Christ's sake. Listening to a story like that. It's outrageous. And you know damn well that the parents are going to get stuck. I mean, this is somebody who's 17. She's never even been legal in a bar. So here's the boyfriend going over and visiting the chick he knocked up. And when he does, the cell phone is turned off. His car is missing. God only knows where he is. Uh, the uh, premise that he's, quote-unquote, visiting his daughter. <laughs> Clearly, this woman was born yesterday. So her response to that, instead of breaking up with him or saying, you know what, this was a bad idea, she also gets pregnant. I mean, how stupid can you get? And I don't think I'm exaggerating, and I don't think I'm overdoing it by saying that girl was just plain Stupid. And after a while, it isn't even satisfying hitting her over the head anymore on the telephone. It, it, there's no satisfaction gotten from that. She's stupid, stupid, stupid. What more can I say? She's stupid. And unfortunately, that our society is turning into this. This is what it is. This is what it is. 17-year-old girls getting pregnant to keep their boyfriends around. Like they're watching a movie. Or like they're watching Britney Spears or whatever. I don't even know. It's like, it's stupid. Holy Christ, it's stupid. When I tell you guys use a condom 100% of the time, do you see the mentality of some of the females you might be dating? This is the mentality that is out there. There are women who will not be satisfied that you are committed enough to the relationship, and so they will just let you knock them up, and they will tell you they can't get pregnant, and then they will just let you knock them up to keep you around. And then when they can't keep you around, they'll get their pound of flesh by torturing you in family court and getting your paycheck garnished. 
it is so, so, God damn it makes me so angry. You gotta be kidding me. Jesus. The veins are popping out of my neck. That's how angry I am listening to that call. That's how angry I was talking to that girl. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, is there anybody out there? Is there one person who thinks she makes a lick of sense? Am I overreacting to this? This is rampant. It's rampant. You know what? I'm not your grandfather. I'm not sitting here telling you don't have sex. Wait till you're married. That's not me. Have all the sex you want. Live it up. Just, just don't be making any goddamn babies. I mean, the reason I don't have... I have to answer this question all the time. I have to answer it from listeners. I have to answer it from women I've dated. I've had to answer this question. Why didn't you have kids? Why didn't you have kids? Because unlike this little girl who just called in, I thought a long time ago about what it would be like. I knew what kind of career I was going to have, and I knew my plan was to make lots and lots of money. And I thought to myself, what would it be like to have a kid and to never be around? My father was like that. My father, of course, my father was not rich, but my father was always working two or three jobs. He was never around. I used to follow him around like a puppy dog, just trying to get his attention. So I know how it feels to be a kid and to not have your dad around. So I made what I believe was a very mature decision. I said, you know what? I'll have fun, but I'm not having kids, and I'm not letting any of these broads talk me into having kids. I'm not doing it. Because I know that what I love is doing what I do for a living. I love my career. I love pursuing uh, success. I love pursuing fi you know, financial gains. I love it. And you cannot have everything and you cannot do everything right. You can't. I mean, why couldn't this little girl, and that's what she is, a little girl, why couldn't she think about that? Does she care about what kind of life a child would live in her stupid, narcissistic little world? Holy Christ, a baby is being had simply to keep somebody in the relationship. Am I overdoing it here? Tom. Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Does your question have anything to do with what I'm discussing on the air this hour? No. That means that's the end of the call. I, my question You bitch. Is... The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Yes, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about that last caller in the last hour, Diana. <laughs> Beth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Beth. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you're discussing this caller because, uh, like many of your callers, I'm sitting there yelling at the radio as well and just shaking my head in disbelief. But uh, being a native of Southern California, I'm used to seeing this breeding mentality. And uh, it just it breaks my heart to hear her just kind of set herself up for this at 17 and not think she deserves anything else. She does, just doesn't care. She's going to have a kid. And the kid is just a device to keep the boyfriend, who clearly can't keep it in his pants, uh, to, to keep him in line. Well, and I agree with that, Tom, but I do have to say, and, you know, this is this is really rampant as well, too. There's a lot of men out there that want little babies, and there's a lot of men out there that want that to happen. So I, on one hand, I don't, yeah, I, I don't agree the that there are as many as you think. I think there are guys who want to have sex without a condom. 
Well, that no, doesn't mean they I, want to I, have I babies. Say they want to have a baby with you. You know, like I've had a couple guys say to me to propose having a child. and Yes, dear, but you're 32 years old. I don't think guys who are 17 or 21 want to be doing that. You never know. I mean, I it's... think they want they want to ride bareback. They want to have sex without a condom. That's what they want. Well, that is I, what they want. Well, everybody wants that. And I really think I really wish you would preach more. Um, I can't, now, know, dear, I can't preach any more. I can't preach any more than I already do. That you're wasting your time. I have already say this as much as is possible without turning the show into one big public service announcement. Well, it's just a shame because it, it seems like pregnancy is not a, a scare. It's not as harsh of a scare as needed. So perhaps STDs could deter this uh, unprotected sex. I, I don't know. I mean, but I, I do think I agree with you. I mean, I was I was disgusted by her, and she was obviously uneducated, and she'll obviously remain that way. And she doesn't care. I mean, no, she, she I, doesn't, I'm running it through. Passing it on to you know, I was uh, I was telling Dino, I'm like I I was just thinking this is the next generation of healthy families. I mean, here it is in the works. This is this is what you get. Welcome to Southern California. And I I don't know I, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm paying my taxes too, Tom. I'm right there with you. So can you hey in honor? Well, uh, here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to convince the guys. I'm trying to convince the guys to wrap it for the following reason. Forget about uh, HIV or STDs because teenagers don't think about that stuff. It's like, do you want to pay 216 monthly payments for 30 seconds of of ejaculation? Yeah, but if those guys aren't making squat, what's 216, 200 whatever payments of nothing? But they will never be making anything if they have a baby. That's the point. Truly, it's a vicious cycle. I don't think, I don't, look, I was young too, and you don't think beyond the bridge of your nose when you're you're 17. You don't think about what's going to happen in the future. You don't. Well, I tell you, I'm, you know, being 32 years old, I've had plenty of sex, and I have yet to have an issue with a unplanned pregnancy. I agree, but you also were not 17 in the 21st century. And and sit there watching all these uh, stupid moronic uh, chicks in Hollywood who are having babies and getting married repeatedly and stuff. And that's what these little girls idolize. Well, and that's, I guess that's all they think that they could be as a mother because they don't, uh, they don't. They don't even think about being a mother. They don't even think about it. Babies are devices to keep guys in a relationship. Jeez. Those those aren't guys worth keeping in my book. (laughs) Well, I agree with you on that. (laughs) Yeah, take me out OJ style. OJ style. We haven't done OJ style. uh, Shenanigans this weekend. We haven't done OJ style in a long time. Uh, Does Art even know where it is? I got to do it up a little different with that video clip from uh, the robbery. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. We we haven't played OJ style. That I think that's a request for like the oldest one. That goes back to like the early days of our show, because our show went on the air in 1994, uh, about a month before OJ got in all that trouble. But I don't think we have it. I, I, I imagine that uh, more people are going to be asking for it, so we'll uh, dig that up for the future. But thank you for reminding us, Beth. Now that O.J. is um, in jail again. By the way, headline on the New York Post today, Gary, have you seen this? Headline on the New York Post. O.J. in the can. Yes. My question is, what will O.J. be getting in the can? If you know what I mean. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Why, look at this. We have a listener online from Port Jefferson, New York. Uh, footsteps from where I lived for seven years uh, in Selden, New York. Uh, Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, I just want to say it is an honor to be speaking to you right now because of the sheer coincidence that I just witnessed. I just got done having a conversation, a very serious conversation with my girlfriend, and I said the same exact things, you know, because of the career that I have chosen. I just don't think that having kids is for me. And then as soon as I unmuted the radio, you were talking about the same exact thing. I can't believe it. Now, you understand if you keep dating the same girl, She's going to make this decision for you. 
I know, I know. That's why I'm very young to be having this conversation now. But I want to set the rules now so that she doesn't have to have the ability to make that decision for me. Well, I mean, here's what she's going to do. She's going to put a pinhole in the condom, or she's going to tell you, don't worry about the condom, I'm on the pill, or something like that. She will get pregnant. You will not be the boss on this. You know, you know Tom, it makes me so paranoid, especially when everybody calls up the show, and it's always like, oops, how did that happen? I just, I would like to believe that I'm with somebody I can trust enough to respect my decision that I just want I'd to like around. to believe I would like to believe Santa Claus is coming down my chimney on December 24th. I'd like to believe that. Tom, I just I agree with everything you said and I I just hope the girl I'm with agrees with everything also. If she says she does, how can I You, you can't know, leave it to hope, Kevin. I mean the fact is at 19 you're too young to have a serious relationship anyway. So when she starts giving you the sales pitch on having a kid, it's time to go. When she gives the hint, how will I know that she's hinting that she's going to want kids? Because I really, I can't do it. I thought you just had this conversation with her. We did, and she's on the same page as me. I told her, look, I picked a very busy career in the television business. I'm not going to be around. You know, things are starting to shape. I'm finishing up college soon, and I just don't think kids is for me. And she's very in agreeing with me. She's agreeing with me a lot. What made you bring up the subject? We just talked about it a few times, and uh, we were well, why nice... you why why did it even come up? Just random conversation. I just uh, always wanted to hear her honest opinion on it, and we were very relaxed. We were just laying down. I wanted to hear what she had to say. You are using condoms, I hope. Yes, that's what we had just got done doing. Right, but I'm saying 100 percent of the time. Yeah, 100% of the time. Because they lie. Because we don't want, I don't want to hear, you know, any babies crying. All right, well, guess what? She will tell you that, uh, uh, oh, I can't get pregnant, or the doctor told me I can't get pregnant, or I'm on the pill. They lie about this stuff all the time. That's what I have to look out for. Right, which means I think you use condoms 95% of the time, and you've got to crank it up to 100 yeah, I think you're right about that. Because I'm telling you where this is going. Yeah, and it you, would make you stick around. That, that, that would be the idea. Right about I mean, that. Kevin, I as it is, you're too young to have a serious relationship. You should be having fun. I can't agree with you more, Tom. So you got And by the way, did you have any idea I once lived four miles from you? You said you lived in Selden. I did. How it is around here. I, I, I know well. I was in Selden just a few months ago. I was oh, really? visiting my brother. My brother lives in Selden. And you know you know how it is around here. It's a little different than California. People uh, like to have relationships around here. Well, but the point is, you don't have to be like everybody else. That's true, Tom. Because I lived around there, and I'm not like that. And it worked for you. It's working like a charm. All right. Thanks a lot. Kevin, I'm here to help. Thank you for the call. There goes Kevin from Port Jefferson, New York. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Gwen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Gwen. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I want to say something about that broad that she, uh, the 32-year-old chick, that she says men want babies. I'm a woman, and I disagree. Men don't want no kids. I don't even want kids, and I'm 18, and I really realize that. I mean, you really got to be stupid enough. Look, I, I got a, you know, crappy job here in a casino, and you really think that $7 an hour is going to buy my baby diapers and formulas plus doctor appointments, vaccinations? People think having a baby is free, which is not free. I mean, I just started seeing this guy, like, about five months ago, and he tells me, you know, we, we have sex, but we, we have it with a condom. We won't have sex without a condom. Because I know it. Men don't want kids. I don't want kids. Yeah, I, but you realize that there are many women who are like uh, Diana who called like, hey, 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 watch your mouth. We're on the air. <laughs> you know, it just pisses me off. And this 17-year-old girl and, like, what the other guy said, oh, California people do it. If a guy jumps off the Brooklyn Bridge, you're going to do it too because New York people do it? No, no. That's now, cool. I, I agree with you on that. Well, thank you, darling. Before you drop another F-bomb, I'm going to move on here, but I thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
is our telephone number. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. We're going to be about 70 seconds before she's going to know she's on the air. Here we go. We're still counting down. Just a few more seconds. Almost. Remember, we're in delay, and she's going to wait till she hears her name on the radio. Well, thank you, darling. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ready, go. Hi, it's Jennifer, and I just wanted to contribute to this whole discussion. I was you want to contribute? Good. Well, I want to contribute to the fact that I'm totally well, against having... Well, I'll tell you what, dear. Young. Just start conversating any time. Can, you can contribute anything you like. <laughs> well, when I was 19, I had an abortion. The guy that I was seeing at the time, he was turning 30, and we both decided that it wouldn't be a good idea for us to have the baby at the time, and that was six years ago. I'm 25 now. So um, I think that we made a definite uh, good decision there because I'm no longer with him, and I'm with somebody else now. There you go. That's good. Yeah. So you recommend it? I do recommend it. I recommend abortion. If you're not willing, you're not mentally and physically and financially stable, you shouldn't do it. I agree with you. Well, thank you for contributing that. <laughs> thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. It's Joanna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Um. Oh yeah, I, have, I wanted to tell you something about what happened at my work today. Okay, like every day we'll be listening to your talk show host every time at three o'clock till the time it closes, and it's always just two people in the warehouse working in the back and a group of ladies working in the office. So today my boss came over and told us that we can't listen to your show anymore because offended the ladies, and when she told me, I got really mad because. Even though I'm a short time listener, I've been I like your philosophy and I've been listening to you for a very long time and it, I got my heart broken today knowing that I can't listen to your show anymore when I'm working. You need a new job. <laughs> yeah, but I'm stuck with this job for right now, so That sucks. I know. Can you wear uh you know, a walkman or something? Yeah, and my cell phone actually has a radio so I can still listen to you but I have to sneak it in, you know? Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. What kind of company do you work for? For some vinyl shop. Some vinyl shop? Yeah, well, that's pretty outrageous. And, I know. of course, the little, the little ladies can't stand it because they know I'm telling the truth about them. It's a coincidence, too, you know, having working in a vinyl shop and you guess, against marriage and everything. It's outrageous. They must really hate it. I, 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 if, if if I got my way, they, the company wouldn't be in business. Yeah, but the thing is, no one works in the back with us. Only two people. How do they even know you're listening? Huh? If the ladies are in the office and you're in the back somewhere, how do they even know you're listening? Because they'll come in for just one, one or two minutes and they'll hear you talk. Just that one or two minutes, they'll hear you and they'll get offended by it. But they're not listening to you the whole time. It's just me and my worker. Do they have a radio? No, they don't listen to you. It's only me and my worker. No, no, no. Do they listen to something else on the radio? Huh? Do they listen to something else on the radio? Oh, they don't listen to anything. It's just me and the worker in the back. So they don't listen to music or religious programming or something else? No, we just listen to your show, but they don't listen to anything because they just work in the office. I see. Well, it's yeah. outrageous. It's outrageous. I know. 
And they're a bunch of old bitches. Yep, they are pretty old. <laughs> if they were getting laid more often, they wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> True that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, can you take me out with the long bong rip and Kobe Bryant style? Of course I can, Joanna. Here you go. In my heart, in the air I breathe. She's so special to me. Tom, Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. You really do change lives, and I mean, so many people want to say that you're a bad guy and all that, and it's uh, it's crazy. I We're mean, doing important work here. It's the Tom Likas Show. In one week from right now, we'll be broadcasting from London. First time we have broadcast the show from Europe in all these years. And um, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be traveling with the Los Angeles Kings uh, to London. And uh, we're going to broadcast for a full week from London in advance of the, uh, the historic first NHL game ever played outside of uh, North America. Actually, there'll be two of them played uh, over that weekend. And uh, it'll be the L.A. Kings and the Anaheim Ducks playing each other. Anaheim Ducks are the Stanley Cup winners. It's a big deal. I, I have to find out what people in England think about ice hockey from North America coming. I'll bet they're as fascinated with it as we are with David Beckham coming to Los Angeles. <laughs> but... Uh, seriously, uh, I do think there's going to be a big crowd, but I think a lot of the people who come will be coming from other countries like Sweden, Finland, Russia, Orange County, and all around the world. Places where hockey is a big deal. And um, I'm not sure that London is, but we'll find out when we get there. I'm really looking forward to this. So we'll be there, and you'll follow our exploits with the uh, Los Angeles Kings and the Anaheim Ducks as we head to London, England, and uh, that's uh, the broadcast start on Monday. one 800 tom is our telephone number. We're talking about Diana, who was the last caller of last hour, and she just really, really pissed me off. Jesus. Let's say hello to Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. How are you doing? I just want to tell you that you're absolutely right. When I was in high school, I was in the same position. I had a girl. We were dating eight years. I met her when she was 14. And then when once we were in our high school, uh, freshman, senior years, around there, she wanted to get pregnant. I told her that my career comes first. I want to be a rich man. I want to own my own business. Well, she decided to get, jealous, get me jealous and get pregnant anyways. Now she has a kid, lives at home lives paycheck by paycheck. I'm 28, single, never been married. And that would have been you. That would have been you. Yes, that would have been me. Thank God it ain't me. Because of Tom Likas saved my life. Love that. Yeah, so I want to tell everybody who's young, put your career first, because that comes first before a hoe. That is exactly right. I, I really appreciate your call. I totally agree. Carrie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. I was actually calling in um, because I, I kind of turned it on um, the last couple callers. And um, I just wanted to mention that there's a whole other side to this that, you know, it's important to use protection. I totally agree because you have to think about the child also that you're possibly conceiving um, if you both don't want children. But, you know, not all women are out to, like, hook men and get them to stay no, there. Did, did, who used the word all? You're the first person to bring up the word all. 
Okay, well, it just sounded that way when I was listening to the show. So, no, I, but just like somebody wins the lottery, uh, there are an occasion. There are occasional women um, who will not use pregnancy to trap a man. There, there are women like that. I totally. Uh, agree. But I don't think I don't think men should trust any women because you don't know which ones you can trust and which ones you can't. I agree. I don't think women should trust any men either because it goes both ways. Well, but when I see the thing is a man can't get pregnant and therefore no, a woman can't. will never be surprised by a man's manipulation uh, to to get pregnant and charge her for uh, 18 years of child support. I totally agree that a man can never get pregnant. So I so totally men agree. men have more to look out for than women do. I agree. I agree they do because, you know, but as far as. Like, I think a lot of people, a lot of women are very young when they do that, when, they, when they're trying to trap a man that way. And they also have to deal with the consequences for 18 years, even though it was their choice to be manipulated. No, that's not our problem. You see, our problem is that these women are latching onto us like status, static cling, and we, we have to make sure we protect ourselves against them. Yeah, I totally and agree. We have to treat think, every woman, regardless. we have to treat every woman like they're a Diana. We have to treat everyone like that. Uh-huh. I think using protection is is 100 percent of the time is great, whether or not you know for both people. Well, you know, also it's important for men to know that that's women. a backup. That's a backup plan, and that women should. Uh, you have to hope that women are using birth control. Also, that you can't leave it up to the man. Any woman who is not using birth control, point blank, wants to have a baby. Uh huh. There's no two Are ways they? about it. Or they just don't want to not. No, have no. One. There's no they, or. They don't the want to have. They want to have a baby. The reason women don't use birth control is not because they're allergic to latex or because birth control makes them fat. It's because they want to have a baby. Mm-hmm. I I just went to the doctor and I have I according to my doctor I have one form of birth control and it's a condom. So I mean, Dear, that's but that's that's ridiculous because you cannot possibly be allergic to eleven different forms of birth control that that all use different methods, uh -huh. different chemicals, different everything. Anything it's, with it's estrogen, and I well, I I'm not willing to take the chance to take a birth control pill that's only ninety percent effective. That, that leaves ten. That leaves ten. That leaves ten other choices. Uh huh. Which are cervical cap, diaphragm, patch, nor plant. Sponge. It goes on and on, dear. I, I, do I have to name these all for you? No, all of which though aren't aren't as effective as a birth control pill. I mean, I think that obviously. In my well, position, that's my I, point. Yeah, the, the, but why use nothing? I mean, why not no, take I as totally much protection agree. as you can use? I totally agree. They, uh, any couple, young or old, who obviously one of the cup. One of the partners doesn't want to have a child. They should both be doing something to prevent it. When women are not using birth control, it's because they want to have a baby. I, I can agree with that, yes. Because I can totally you, agree. All I'm saying is that the guy, if a guy is sleeping with a woman, then he needs to trust her on some level that obviously they're both... No, he them. needs to not trust her. So you've he never, needs to ever not ever trusted a woman in your life. I, 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 when I have, I've gotten burned. Uh, the trick is, uh, you know, it's like uh, President Reagan used to say, trust but verify. I mean, come on. Uh, the fact is that there are so many women who do this kind of thing that men cannot take the chance that, that uh, they are with one of the ones who won't do it. I agree that there, there is a lot, and I agree. So I the trick is, do not trust. Her. Do not mm -hmm. trust. Do not trust. I agree. I think I think it should go both ways, though. I mean, I don't think a woman should trust a man then, either. In that respect. well, fine with me. As far as I'm concerned, man, I think men shouldn't even get into relationships. Have sex, move on. <laughs> That's You're a laughing. Whole other discussion. <laughs> but okay. No, it's the same discussion. Have sex, use a condom, move on. Yeah. Well, if your parents did that, then you wouldn't have been here, right? Uh, darling, uh, the the fact is that uh, my guess is that uh, my parents had me because they were too lazy to go to the drugstore. I, I I mean, I have a two year old, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So, uh, but then again, I'm not using any taxpayers' money. I'm paying for it. You know, me and my me and my husband are paying for it. So, I think I I don't think there's anything wrong with having children as long as both people people want one. Well, again, dear, were you married before you got pregnant? No, I wasn't. So you got married because you got pregnant? No, we didn't get married until after I had her. 
But but that's why you got married. No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't well, agree with it at all. Why hadn't you decided to get married before you got pregnant? I I I don't know. We just we didn't. Get You're married. in denial. You're in denial. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> you because you have to believe you got married because you love him. You can't possibly believe it's because you screwed up. No, I don't think I screwed up. Well, of course you did. I don't agree with that. I so you planned to have a baby? Children. Did you plan to have a baby at that time? No, we didn't. So then you screwed up. But, I mean, it, 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 you can look at it as a screw up, but... I it mean, is a screw up. You weren't planning on it, and it happened. Okay, but... Everybody you had the ability to prevent it at the time, and you didn't. But there's nothing wrong with having a child. That's not the point. Wanted. You were too young to get pregnant, and you were not planning on it, and you let it happen anyway. And the reason I'm guessing that you're upset about what I'm saying here is because you also were not using birth control, and that's how you got pregnant. Isn't that right? No, I was on birth control, actually. Oh, and what happened? What happened? I, I don't know. I guess I was that small percentage. It's only 99.98% effective. Uh -huh. And you were using it every day? You were using the pill every day? Yes, I was. And the reason you're not using it now is what? I actually, I, I had an IUD put in, and it was awful. And I went to the doctor, and she said, do you get migraines? I said, yes. She said, do you see, see spots? I said, yes, I do. She said, you can't take anything with estrogen. And I said, what are my options then? And she said, you can take one that's... Um, a, that doesn't have estrogen, but it's not as effective. And I said, well, you know, what is the percentage? And she said 90%. And I said, I'm not willing to take that chance. I'd rather use a condom. Yeah, but a, but a condom's only a backup form. And you see, you're not using any birth control. They're 90, and well, they're 97 You could use something, but you could use something. Well, I've heard 95 to 97%. And by the way, you could be using something also. And if you use two devices at the same time, the chances that it's 100% are much higher. I agree. I agree. But, but you're not using any. No, I'm not. Why not? Because you want to have another baby. There's nothing wrong if we decide to have another child. But you but... but you want to have one now. You don't want to make a decision. You want it to just wash over you like a tidal wave. You want it to happen without anybody having a choice in the decision. No, I don't. Then why aren't you using birth control? Actually, actually, to be totally honest, my husband wants another child right now, and I don't. So, that's why I mean, you're not using birth control. Okay. Because he you know. wants a baby. And that's it. Why don't you just say it? That's why you're not using birth control. Because your husband wants a baby. No, I don't want another child right now. He's, well, he's in his last year of college, and I don't want well, another one. Well, you could be using birth control, but you won't. I could be. I guess the chances of if I took the birth control that was 90% effective and we used the condom would probably be, I mean, you know, pretty much 100%. Well, I pretty much, you know what pretty much 100% is? One in 20. One in 20. One in 20. One in 20 yeah. what? If you had sex 20 times, on average, you might get pregnant once. If you're using two forms of birth control? No, you're not. You're using one form. Okay, that's, but that's my choice, though. That's not your choice, and I can afford, I can afford the child that I have. But that's not the point. You want another one. I don't want another one right oh, now. I, gee, I can't take. I can't take this anymore. I can't take it anymore. Jesus. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Real quickly, Frank. I've got less than a minute, and I mean it. Frank. Hello, Tom. Hello. I now I have forty five seconds. Tom, it's just an outrage of what that girl is doing. More people should be using condoms. It just doesn't make any sense. And you know what? I can't believe it. Whether it be black, white, Hispanic, it's just about uneducated people. So blow me up, Tom, Kobe Bryant style. Uh, do we have time for that? Go ahead. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Uh, uh, Send your email to Tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.